Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Decoded. My name is Anshu Dudeja. I am working as Technical Architect SD4 at Adobe, and I'll be solving longest binary subsequence less than or equal to k, which came in weekly contest 298. Also, in case if you are interested in looking out for more solutions that came in the contest, all of them are stated in the description below. So do check them out. Now let's get back to the problem. Here we are given an input string that can that have characters. In either zero or one in binary format, and we are also told a value k. What do we need to do? We need to identify the longest binary subsequence that is less than or equal to k. The question is self-explanatory, and let's walk through the example. And using this example, I'll be deriving the algorithm behind it. Lead code two three double one longest binary subsequence less than or equal to k. It's a medium level question on Leetcode, and I also feel the same. Also, in case if you have any doubt understanding this question, or if you want to ask anything from me in general, please feel free to drop a message on the Telegram group or the Discord server of Coding Decoded. Both the links are stated in the description too. Now let's get back to the example. Here, the input string that is given to us is one zero zero one zero one zero, and the value of k is five. So, what we are interested in? We are interested in identifying longest subsequence. Whose integer representation would be less than or equal to five? So we are aware that zero never contributes to increase in any value in the binary representation. Therefore, we can say we will pull out all zeros from the input string. That means this zero, this zero, this zero, and this zero will be part of the answer. Now it's time to make the decision for one. So let me just write the corresponding weight each one carries. So this position carries a weight of one unit. This position carries the weight of two into one. This unit, this position carries the weight of two into two. This position carries the weight of two into three. This position carries the weight of two into four. This position carries the weight of two into five. This position carries the weight of two to the power six. And let's start iterating from the rightmost terminal towards the leftmost terminal, and we will keep on adding ones till the time the total number. Happens to be less than or equal to k. So let's start the iteration. We don't see a one. We proceed ahead. We see one. At one, the decimal value increase would be of two units. So two is still less than five. So the running sum becomes two, and we will add one to our answer set. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is this one, and it will contribute to eight units in decimal representation. So two plus eight is ten. Ten is greater than five. As a result of which, this one can't be added, and we abort the process. So what is the final string that we have generated? The final string is zero 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 one zero, and this is the answer in sync with our expectation. So we will be doing exactly the same thing. Let's quickly walk through the coding section and conclude it up. Here I've created three variables. The first one is running sum. Other one is number of zeros, number of ones. And what do we do? We count the number of zeros that exist in my input string s. And I'll with each such instance, I'll increment the value of number of zeros. Now comes the concern: how many ones can be taken into consideration? So the number of, we will be iterating in left to right, right to left fashion: one from the least significant bit to the most significant bit, and we extract the character one by one. We check if it has happened to be equal to one. Then we calculate its weight in decimal, and we add it to the running sum. If my weight is less than equal to k, I increment the number of ones count variable. Otherwise, I should break. And it's break. And once I'm done with this, uh, what do we do? We sum the number of ones variable and number of zeros variable to identify the desired length of our answer. So let's shoot for it. Accepted. The time complexity of this approach is order of n. The space complexity of this approach is constant time. We are not doing, we are not solving anything extra here. With this, let's wrap up today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead. And all the solutions are mentioned in the description, so do check them out.